thanks for stopping by. I'd like to preface this video by saying it is not a tutorial, but a means to have something playing in the background while you work on your own project. If you're like me and really enjoy having something on while you work, sometimes the content you like is very visually engaging, and you're several hours in and haven't gotten nearly as far along in your project as you would have liked to. So that's where I come in. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Happy Monday? Yes. Monday is the day that I will have this video released, but it's currently Friday, just a little bit past 2 p.m. I have the day off, and if you notice, what what is this? This is a light jacket because it's cold! I'm so... Oh my goodness. If you are a avid viewer of my channel, you know that time and time again, I had a nickel for every time I said how hot and uncomfortable I was this summer. I would probably be able to do YouTube full time, but um, alas, <laughs> I don't get paid for my own complaining, but I hate super, super hot. I just am a cooler weather girl, and it is cooler weather, so I get to wear one of my favorite accessories, which are coat cardigan type things. I love to have a little cover-up, and it's cool enough that I can wear it comfortably. And I'm just so happy. It's an overcast day. I'm feeling like I am in the Pacific Northwest, back home in the woods. Well, not in the woods. Like, I didn't live in the woods, but just looking at the greenery and the overcast, and it's very, very homey feeling to me. Like, this is a good, crisp, cool day. And I know that fall only, it's not even fall yet. Um, we have another week until fall, but this gives me like just that glimmer of the cooler bit of the year before we get into like sub-zero temperatures here in the Midwest. But ah, so, so thankful for a day like today. So grateful to be able to have the day off to one, wear something other than like my houseware, and two, be able to film with you. So, um, pardon, I'm going to get myself situated here. I've been messaging with my partner uh, back and forth. They got in a little fender bender earlier today, and I'm trying to figure out whose fault it was, uh, because Knowing my partner, it could very well have been their fault, but I will give them the benefit of the doubt this time just to find out what's going on. So today's project is a continuation of last week where we worked on my little cousin's sock. We are just keeping up with this one. I honestly haven't knit much of it off camera because my week has been busy with other things. I was knitting a little last night since today, Friday, I was off. I was like, why not just knit through some of the evening? So I got a few rounds in. Then I, uh, actually while I was working on that, I realized that my polish was chipping. If you guys remember last week I had like this very hot pink color and it was beautiful. It's actually still on my toes. Toenail polish, you know, that could last through a nuclear war, but fingernails, they just chip all the time. If you don't, I mean, if you go to like a salon or you use gel nails or acrylics or something, they'll last a lot longer, but I prefer to paint them just because I like to change it up so much that it would be really expensive for me to go to the salon just to change my polish color when I could just do it at home. So it works out, but I was so like, oh man. But that Polish formula, I love the brand, but I think that batch, they do small batches, something might have been off with the pigment to binder ratio because um, it was a newer polish I bought, but as you guys may remember me mentioning that uh, because I have so many nail polishes, my goal for 2020 was to use up all of the polish I already had before I started buying any more and then to actually wear all the colors once, evaluate how I felt about them, and toss any old formulas that were just turning bad or 
were no longer my style and things like that. I actually ended up keeping all of the colors just based on color alone, but I threw out a few because the formulation was just horrible and had turned because they were so old anyway. So I got rid of quite a, well, for me, I got rid of a few, I think like maybe eight polishes. And then I bought like four new ones. <laughs> But one of the four was the one that I had on last week, and it was just very gloopy when I took it, like, when I shook it, the bot, when I shook it up, when I shook up the bottle anyway, like, when you, when you, as you do when you paint your nails, um, the formulation was still very thick and didn't give me a good even coat, so I had to do a couple just to get it even, and because it was already a thicker formula, it just, like, caked onto my nails and so when last night when I was knitting it kind of was just like peel off polish like for for kids or something I was just like peeling off my nails so I was like oh this is bad because if it pulls that first layer of my nail off then that makes my nails weaker so I decided to just take it off and try one of the other colors from the same brand and so that's what I'm wearing now. So I painted my nails last night after I was knitting and was watching some videos and just kind of looking through my Etsy uh, to kind of think about more stuff that I want for my birthday because if you're new or if you haven't seen the other videos where I mentioned it, I am pitching to you guys the idea, the offer, the encouragement to tell me or suggest to me some things that you really like product-wise, knitting-wise, whether preferably if it's like an indie yarn dyer or if there's a product out there that, you know, is just a game changer for you that you think I might like, let me know and at the end of September, in October, I will be making my curated selection of purchases to buy. Because I'm like, well, my birthday month, you would think you'd buy every, you'd buy what you want during your actual birthday month. But this year and last year, I waited through September to kind of get an idea of what I really wanted and then made those purchases. So. I am happy with that. I will say though, um, at the time you see this, in my cart, perhaps order already confirmed and on its way to me are this, so this indie yarn dyer that I really like, I, that I found on Etsy. It was before I had my Instagram, so I, I or no, no, no. I did have my Instagram and I saw them there maybe I can't remember chicken or the egg but this Ravenswood company I bought some I bought one Hank from them last year for my birthday and have been following them and keeping up on their their new releases pretty I mean Anytime I'm on Instagram and I see that they have a new colorway out, I'm like, ooh. But I'm part of their mailing list and they emailed me this morning, Friday morning, saying, hey, we have some new colors. But these are special limited editions of Harry Potter houses. So if you're, honestly, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I will admit that I barely got through the first movie maybe read about halfway through the first book and I was like, eh, done, can't, could not get on board with Harry Potter. But, you know, all my classmates, so this was like fifth grade when everyone was reading Harry Potter, when the first book was out and everyone was reading it, I was like the odd one out. Like, maybe there were some other kids too who weren't really into it, but I was just like, I'm sorry. I'm not with it guys. I just can't. I was reading like murder. <laughs> I was reading like VC Andrews. I was reading like um uh la 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 Dean Koontz. Um <laughs> it's 
Steven, I was, I was like way, I was reading the books that were in my house and because I was living with two grown up people, one an avid reader, she was reading smut. <laughs> she was reading about like incestuous family relationships and murder and like skeezy romance novels and I'm just like, yep, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna read about murder and that's all I read and that's what I like to read and so I was just like, this is baby stuff, like reading Harry Potter. So, you know, not to shame anyone who reads it because everyone has the genres that they like, but when I was younger, growing up as a reader, I couldn't get on board with it. It was boring to me, honestly, but one of my good friends, uh, who was also a September month girl, I, I saw that ad that mailer and I'm like I know at least two people who are like Harry Potter fans not fanatics but very much uh, aficionados of the Harry Potter series so I asked my one friend and I was like hey what because they're they're by house so I'll put the link uh right something some dust is itching me so I'll put the link in um I will the link is in the description because this is past me talking about future me what I'm gonna do the link is in the description of the Ravenswood fiber company that happens to be having this limited release of the yarns and they're really pretty they're not even it's like I don't even care about Harry Potter like that but I took I went to the wizardly world website because apparently Pottermore is the one I remembered hearing about that was where you took the quiz and they have become wizardly worlds or something like that but I took the quiz the sorting hat quiz and I am a Ravenclaw so there's that there's something new I learned about myself um, and my friend she first she thought she was Gryffindor but then she took the quiz. Well, she didn't take that particular quiz. She took a different one. Maybe it was like on BuzzFeed or something. And it said she is Hufflepuff. And she's like, oh. She's like, I thought I would have been Ravenclaw. And I was just like, ah, well, you're not. So I asked my brother's fiance, who I knit for some socks previously. And I asked her, because I know she likes Harry Potter. And I was like, well, what's your house? And she's like, I, I don't know, but I'm not really tied to a house. So I was like, okay, well, is there a house that has a colorway that you really like? I'm like, I saw something, thought of you because I know you like Harry Potter, and I didn't tell her what it was. So I was just like, what, what, which one are you? So I figured I would buy the yarn that matched her house, but she chose Gryffindor, I think. Let me see. I was also having a texting... Oh, excuse me. I was having a texting conversation with her and asked her, and I can't remember what she had just told me. Oh, she picked Hufflepuff. Okay, so... Gryffindor is the red and yellow. I do remember seeing that one just like, poof. That was like, I think the first colorway that they had um, on the image of the email that they sent. So if you are a Harry Potter fan or you happen to know someone who is and you want to knit them something, check out the link and see if the colorways are something that you want because it's since it's limited you know there's a whole sense of urgency but I figured if I buy it even though it's being purchased in the month of September just because I don't know how long this limited release will be. I don't count it as my purchase for September, like as my birthday, because it's not actually for me. Though a lot of the yarn that I want to buy will be for gift giving anyways, but this was a, just a different occasion, I guess. I'm making the exception because it might not be around for very long. And if I wait until October, which I know they will probably be having a whole new release of October yarns, 
and I'm not really like a Halloween themed person, but I do appreciate pop culture and if somebody wants to live in their Potter house life, their um, Hogwarts life, then I'm totally all for that and will make, make something nice for them. So, you know, they're getting socks. But they have, so they have two, two, five, two yarn weights. So they have the fingering, which is merino and nylon, and then they have 100% merino for their DK weight. And I am going, and it's the same price for both, 30, it's $30 US for a hank. So I think you get like 400 and, 475 yards of fingering I want to say it's like 400 and something for sure and then I think it's like 200 and something for the for the DK so it's like cool I will I'm thinking I'm gonna buy the DK for both but then at the time you see this it probably will be the DK because I want to knit the socks quickly and I don't think that they're going to be for this holiday season only because I have to actually make stuff like this like the stuff that I already have on my list as family gifts and I already made my brother's fiance a pair of socks so I don't need to make her a second pair at this point in time but I will have it ready So I'm like, well, I could just give her the Harry Potter socks for for Christmas and then give her the ones I just made for next year. But I'm like, well, then that means I have to knit her two pairs of socks anyway. And that's taking time away from these other, other gifts I have. So it's like, nah, I'll pass on that one. But if the mood strikes me, you never know, because the DK weight sock is going to go by lickety split compared to this thin sock weight yarn. And she tends to wear her shoes kind of loose, but she's a, I think she has Crocs too, so she'll probably just wear them with her Crocs. And I'll even like make on the label suggested wear loose shoe or like open toe slide or something like that or in the house so she can show them off but it look cool 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 um yeah but essentially that's like one thing I saw that caught my eye. Uh, there are some people I follow on Instagram that are into jewelry making and one of them has started a new line where they incorporate their beautiful crochet work and cl like polymer clay which I think is just gorgeous and I love even though I only have one earring in right now and sometimes you see me and I don't have any earrings at all I love earrings it's just a fact of effort to put them on but a statement ones I really like so I'll wear like mainly my first hole I have three holes in my ears on each side and I'll use like a statement on the main like the first hole and then smaller ones up but that one's So what else is new? I hope you guys had a good weekend, wherever you are, whatever you did. I'm hoping my weekend goes well too. I mean, it's Friday. I'm going to crank out some videos for you guys for the the rest of the week, you know. We're on our, our Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So not a lot that I have to do. I have two full batteries. The one that's in the camera now I charged last night and I just charged the other one this morning. So that's awesome. So I'm just like ready to spend Friday 
afternoon making some content and then tomorrow Saturday I'll probably do some more filming for the following week so we just have some stuff ready to go ready to upload in the queue see how things go so yes as with making things ahead of time if any of you do comment on something and expect a response it will likely be a reply directly to your comment um, only because I do film ahead so if there's something that needs to be addressed in a future video uh, you might not see it for a while because I will have already made the content for that week and it'll take a bit between when it's uploaded and reading the comments to the next time I film where I can either incorporate an answer or if it's something I can reply to directly then I'll just make a note in the comments but yes do keep in mind that money is the object so if you do have like some really awesome stuff to suggest and are really really hoping that I buy it um, I might not just because I only have so much money that can go to things like knitting especially because I want to focus more on indie dyers um, besides the nitpicks stuff I just bought because they were having like a 40% off sale on some yarn and I was like I really need more sock yarn because the people who I'm knitting for who are guys really don't like pink all that much so I can't use all the pink yarn I have <laughs> or like the baby yellow I mean I'm fine with it and my partner doesn't care but some of the the men in my life that aren't uh, my partner are very anti anything that looks too frilly or soft they're very much like that toxic I don't know would you call it toxic masculinity if they're like totally against wearing colors that are feminine I mean a color is a color my partner loves hot pink hot pink like this Pikachu they love that color they don't care they will wear pink um, they have pink Yoshi in the car on the um, on the dash dangling from the rearview mirror like I think I might have told you guys this story about how when we were we weren't like very new to dating but we were not that far not nearly as long as we are now and in the city we lived in there was a T-Mobile no Sprint store and my partner needed a new phone and went in there and the one that they got they asked specifically for the pink one even though it was like like actually like baby pink silver like metallic baby pink and had like even this like florally design on the back of it but they were all for it and then the sales associate is like are you sure you want this phone and they're like yeah it's pink so all, a lot of their phones back when they came in a lot of different colors they got the pink ones <laughs> but I'm just saying that's my partner they don't care but the dudes on my side of the family are like no so I have to get some more yarn for them mm. so yeah so Hufflepuff Potter House whatever's gifts being purchased now the nitpick stuff being purchased because I need to up my yarn supply for the rest of these gifts I'm making and that's about it for now and then I will wait to hear what you guys have to say about any other things that I should get for my birthday and then we have holiday like Christmas is coming up and I say coming up but literally by the time you guys see this we will already be what a week and a half into September so it's like what the year 
as long as it feels like 2020 has been, it's also going kind of fast for me. Let me know if you feel the same way, but I'm just like, huh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've been in my house as a homebody. The amount of time I've spent in my house is even surprising to me, and I am usually perfectly fine staying in my house as long as I need to, but that's because most of the time I have to leave it. So then being at home is actually like a moment where I can rest. But now that everything I do is in the home, I feel like I have nowhere to go to rest because I can't actually go anywhere. Like people, stuff is opening up, malls opening up, yada yada, but I'm not just because it's open doesn't mean I need to go, especially if I am still at risk of getting COVID and or having it and spreading it to somebody who is at risk. So I'm like that's still too much for me to to throw everything, all this hard work, all this discipline throw it by the wayside just to, you know, go shopping in person or whatever. So I'm like, I'll just chill here. But I'm really happy that it's almost the end of the year because then we have a new year and a new chance to make things better. I will say as a U.S. citizen, I am not looking forward to November all that much because I'm scared, <laughs> but Oct or not October, December, based on holiday stuff, I'll be ready to, to treat myself to some of my own Christmas gifts that I want. All right, so we are at the end of this round and the end of this video, I will see you on Wednesday with some more footage, but you'll likely just see me as I am right now because I'm going to be filming again right after this. But yeah, we just made a few rounds, nice and easy. It was good catching up with you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.